In a backlog refinement meeting for a software project, a team member voices concern over a new technology scheduled for integration in the next month. Their apprehension revolves around potential integration difficulties and performance issues. What guidance would you offer the team to navigate this situation? So what I'm seeing here is in the current month, my team member is raising a possible difficulty thing, which is called risk, which may come in the next month time. And we are working in the agile work, looking at the context. It's a software development project because we are doing backlog refinement. So what should I do? What should I do with the risk? Something which can occur in the next month during the backlog refinement meeting. Let's see what are the options. Option A, prioritize immediate sprint task, accepting that requirement may evolve. So this particular option is trying to say me that you need to focus on your current sprint because the question is clearly indicating it will come somewhere in the next month. So I can assume that after a few sprints, it will come, maybe two sprints, it will come. So why to worry about it? Let's focus on what we are going to do. Things may evolve over a period of time. Um, possible, yeah, but it depends upon the type of risk we are covering. It is not like in the agile way of working, we keep uh, working on current sprint and not to worry about things which can go wrong in a future iterations or a, or a slash sprints. So we need to do some risk management even, even in the agile way of working rather than only focusing on current sprint. So I won't consider this particular option as a, as a candidate option. Let's look at option two. Recommend documenting this concern for the discussion in the next refinement session. So I like a portion of this uh, option which is saying document the concern. So probably I put into a risk register or somewhere or as an information radiator or we make a note or put it somewhere in the Kanban board, somewhere, somewhere we document it. And then we discuss it in the next backlog refinement meeting. Um, so the last portion, which is saying, let's discuss in the next refinement meeting, looks like that I'm avoiding, uh, but there is no clear indicator which is showing me that I need to collect some more information so that I want to avoid it for the next iteration, next backlog refinement meeting. Uh, so it's a candidate option because it is talking about noting. Uh, but if we can get something better, which is not going into uh, avoidance space, we probably want to deal with this issue or this particular risk now, uh, now only. Option C, suggest trusting the product owner's decision making on backlog prioritization. So this is saying, you know, why you as a team member worried? Let the product owner worry about what they want to do in the upcoming sprints and they will prioritize the product backlog accordingly. Why should you bother about that? That's the project manager saying to the team. Not at all a good idea. So out of A, B, C, B still is a candidate option. A and C are completely out. Option D, propose adding an exploration task to the assess the risk, thereby refining the backlog prioritizations accordingly. This looks good. Yeah, it is more proactive approach. It includes the option which was given in the B. It is saying, let's recognize this issue and add an exploration item, yeah, some technical exploration item into backlog and then do that particular thing soon. And then we refine the backlog according to the learning which we get into the backlog. Probably we end up reprioritizing thing in order to respond to this particular risk. And this is the right option in this particular question. So what we are learning, we are learning in the agile way of working we still need to do risk identification and risk responses. We may not necessarily need to focus on risk register and other things. The backlog refinement and the backlog should contain the possible action item, which we will take in order to mitigate or respond to this particular risk. If something has been set, we need to explore it and probably the prioritize the backlog based on risk and value. So all these ideas are coming directly indirectly in the option D, which is the best option out of four available. So I go with option D in this particular question. So ECO task, this one is simply mapped to assess and manage risk. Yes, it's just an assess and manage risk, but it's an agile way of doing. So it's an agile way of assessing and managing risk. Task three of your process domain. Topics, yes, we explored backlog refinement in this particular question. And we also explored risk management in this particular question using agile ways of working.